Also, this elevator actually works. This entire um, apartment building is rendered and being simulated at any given time. And this elevator actually travels you up and down floors. It's pretty cool. Like normally you do it, uh, an elevator by just making the sound and not actually moving you and just teleporting you to the proper floor and having the doors open. But uh, no, this actually works. It's pretty cool. Nothing in my mailbox, which of course it's still scratched out. Uh, these names on the mailboxes, I'm pretty sure these are like developer names. I'll have to double check on that one. You can actually read these with the texture pack. It's pretty nice. Wine, 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 wine. Uh, if you don't know this, I worked for, I worked in retail for several years. Never put two of the same thing next to each other. <laughs> I know that's pamphlets and not like products, but uh, when you're filling space, make it at least a look not like a universal block of the same product. So I think I need to hit the taxi. Hello, prostitute. I think I need to hit the taxi and go back to Hollywood Hills. This type of gangster doesn't actually attack you randomly, I don't think. Oh, where those guys got killed. This is bugging out. The texture's bugging out. It's supposed to be a blood stain. Aww. Bit of a shame. I was hoping to show off the blood stain a little better. Can I just fast travel from the bus stop? I cannot. Uh, let's see, it's been a story mission. I can go back and receive some more money. Uh, I think my seduction is up. I could probably try to seduce this blood doll again and get some blood. I don't really need blood that much, but, uh... Oh. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't win with her. Thank you, Venus. 80 bucks, not bad. It's less than the 250 I remembered it being, but uh, it's, it's a little bit less for the repeat, repeat payment. Uh, I'm probably going to head back to Hollywood again to check out Mercurio's stock, right? And Hollywood has the, uh, the Asylum, which has those two blood dolls in there that I am capable of seducing, so... If I really needed blood, I could pick it up there. Baby girl! Yeah, nothing really different on Larry's truck. But since I put the 9mm SMG away, he now has it again. Instead of the ammo. How much does this cost? Well, not that important. I'm not really using that yet. I'm still stealthing around. There is another thing in here before I leave. See if I can find it. Uh, I don't recall if like a quest pushes you this direction or you have to find it for yourself. But you go in here. In here. So this is gonna be similar to the ghost house. There we go.
But when so unlike a whale, you blubber well. So this is an area that's similar to the ghost house in some ways, I feel. If you could see on his jacket, he it had something like haunted written on it. These are paranormal investigators. And they finally found what seems to be a real haunted house. Morphine bottle, nice. Am I, am I just tripping over that bedpan? Is that what's happening? I guess it's hard to tell, but I'm like bouncing all over the place. Uh, through here. We ever played Outlast? There's a part where you go in a vent, climb through a vent through a room you've just been in, and someone walks through the door looking for you. When I played that, I was thinking of this se sequence, actually. That seems like the paranormal investigators have found, it seems to be, a real haunting. Damn you, wheelchairs. You're not that scary. No, but I do have to go down, that's right. Oh, but can I get through? Let me through, let me my stupid outfit through. So, I'm a big bad vampire, this shouldn't be a problem for me, right? Uh, it's this way, yes. It's a pretty linear environment. With a morphine bottle, free free money, basically. Tons of blood. I don't know why the blood decals are turning into these weird squares. What's going on? Is that the texture pack doing that? Is that just old source being weird and shitty? Someone being killed as we speak. A man and a woman's voice. The man seemed to be the one getting killed. Lucky I remember how to get through all this, huh? Spent almost no time searching around. Hmm. Oh, stand up. Seems like an old hospital. Doesn't seem like a sanitarium because there's all these, like, weird operating tables. <laughs> and he explodes into blood. That's a great one. Hello. Can I stand up, please? Ah, uh, uh, we're gonna miss it. Real terror is not the sight of death; it is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No, I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Must the Black Widow devour the whole fly? Child of Malkai, you should understand better than any other the debilities of some of these bloodlines. A spider? No, they drink only blood. My own condition is more like the mantis. I must also eat the flesh of these kind to survive. My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Kisha. Kisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. So, this is Pisha. 230 years, that's quite a long time. She's a very ancient vampire. Well, not very ancient, but quite old. And uh, that means she's much more powerful than you. Uh, and I'm not sure. I think she's also a Malkavian. 
and when you ask her your name, you again have no insight into her. You have no Malkavian insight. So it seems like she's such an enigma that even you can't figure her out. My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. So uh, when she says she must eat the flesh of these kind to survive, I don't really believe that's true. I think she believes that's true. But uh, uh, I think I think it's just her Malkavian madness manifesting in cannibalism. Uh, the fly has seen the spider. It will not fly willingly into the web. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. So, this is a dilemma. You can... You have to protect the masquerade, but letting her do horrible things to him is probably going to hurt your humanity. So I think I should give him an easy kill. An easy kill? There's supposed to be like a corpse here that she's like snacking on and she's cut up all these corpses to eat. There's tons of stuff down here. Uh, but I will try to avoid making him suffer if at all possible. Can I not... Is there just nothing? Okay. Guess I have to go back up the old fashioned way. So, Pish is an interesting character. She is here. Ah, there we go. The faster way out than going all the way around like I did. Pisha is an interesting character. She's a collector of magical artifacts, and also she does this thing where she completely devours people instead of just the usual drink. Which means, uh, if you need to make a person disappear, you can convince them with your persuasion skill to come down here, and she will have herself a little snack, dispose of the evidence by eating their entire body and no more problems to be had. The problem with that is of course it's a horrific experience and you will know that you did that so uh, it hurts your humanity usually. Uh, here we go. Where has he gone? He leave the entire building? Oh no. Oh no. He's supposed to be standing right here. It's bad. Hmm. Well, that's a big problem. To do some of Pisha's quests, and if you happen to need magical items, she will trade them with you. But I do need to solve this first. I don't know where he's gone. That's a problem. Hopefully I can find him again. Anyway, I think this has been quite enough of this part. So... Let's return Came back to the asylum. I, I topped up on blood.
Florida. That is a damn shame. Uh, I think all I did other than tap up on blood, and I can do without that, was a visit Mercurio. When I reloaded the game, the blood decals uh, fixed themselves, I think. Anything I can do for you tonight? So, I don't believe he has anything special. Nope, he doesn't have anything special yet. We'll have to come back to him. Hey, check out the texture on the ammo box. That's pretty nice. Or right, for the shotgun shells. Uh, I think this is all there is to do in Santa Monica for now. But other than that, I forget what I was doing. It's been... Honestly, it's been like three days since I played this. Four days. I say that literally every episode, though. Oh yeah, that's. I need to go to Grout Manor. This is an interesting little thing, and I think I am thankfully all set to go in terms of equipment for it. Wait, did I... I still have XP. Uh, dexterity? Dexterity. Hmm. If I get two more XP, I'll put it in Charisma. I definitely want Stealth, Defense, Persuasion, as usual. Where to? Okay, let's go to Grout's Mansion. Uh, this isn't necessarily a big combat zone, but, uh... Yo, what are you doing here? Hmm, his voice is echoing like crazy. No. Why did you say no to that? That's, that's an odd response. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. It's almost like that's not nines at all. It's almost like that's someone else entirely. Notice this is a combat area. That is for good reason. Uh-oh. I'm getting stuck on the floor? On nothing? So that's very strange. Anyway. Grout's Manor. This isn't exactly like the ghost house, but it sort of reminds me of it in some ways. You okay? Got a knife and a straight jacket, and you're attacking me. Of course, I'm a complete wimp when it comes to melee, so this isn't going to go well for me, probably. You see that attack when I, they block me and they counter instantly? Ouch. Now you're dead, and I take your knife. Uh, from now on, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the pistol. Uh, I guess Vision of Death. I think these are vampires. I'll try on the next one. I don't come this way. Stealth kill you, please. That would be nice. There we go. Did you see me? Doesn't look like it. So this doesn't necessarily need to be a combat zone, but being fair, it probably will be. Can't get through this. Uh, I will sneak and I will stealth kill as best I can. There's pretty much no, like, well, there might be one. There's not really any challenges to do with persuasion or anything like that. Text challenges? Speech challenges, that's what I'm thinking of. He's having a lot of fun. So, I've got another book. 
This one is for... I think this one's for dodge. Possibly? Well, once we complete this, I need to go buy trips and duplicate that book. Except one safe to the mind rules of time, to mind rules of perception. Turn off the mind. The mind is capricious, having very advanced on perception, and having the mind in progress. Okay, so. Mind before time, time before perception, perception before mind. Jeez, I forget how to do this puzzle completely. So. Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time insane asylums. I lament their loss not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing of perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. Okay, so... For some reason, that is not subtitled, so I was very quiet during that. Uh, I just solved the puzzle. You see the icon here is an eye. This one is an hourglass. This one is like a stylized brain. That's what you pull the candlesticks order in, in the order of his note. Let's also listen to this. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I have been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular unique interest to my station both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. <sighs> no, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, May I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhood. And I am most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star so grout this is like the elder or the primogen for the Malkavians in the city as you can hear he was a psychiatrist or still is a psychiatrist I suppose and uh, he also <laughs> believes in some pseudosciences like phrenology which is total BS by the way Uh, I have to do something else to open this, huh? Oh well. We'll do a little more walking around stealthing. Ah, oh, this guy. I don't know if I can sneak up on him, but I can get rid of this lady. So that when I do have to fight him, he's all on his own. Yeah, figure as much. This is doing aggravated damage, by the way. So this is a vampire using claws. Ouch. That'll take a while to heal. 
Check out this art. Nice. I think this is from the texture pack, but if this is a default texture, like the painting in uh, the the office of the asylum, it's pretty you know high res for 2004. Okay, there are people on the other side of the store. Oh, is this what I think it is? Is this going to be a combat room? Is this going to be a shooting room? Hmm. Knife number one. Nope, don't look this way. Go somewhere else, buddy. Nothing's happening here. Come on. Nope, nope, nothing. Nothing happening. Keep moving so I can keep slashing these, these other people. I really don't want to fight you with this amount of health. Please. Please keep walking. <sighs> well, since you've stopped, maybe I can... Sure can. to be at a super specific distance to stealth kill people in this game. And you really don't want to do this one in open combat because there were so many of them there. Oh. Are you getting tired of seeing that animation? How about the next snap for this one? Unfortunately, it's the same sound effect for the next snap, no matter what, so that was like a man's voice, even though that was a lady enemy. Okay. This guy's completely disemboweled. Not, not bad uh, texture work, though. He does have physics, so he actually just launched me off the couch there. Uh, let me check this last door, and then we'll try upstairs, but I'm pretty sure upstairs is blocked off. Anyway, you can kind of see what I mean. This is similar to the ghost house. That's very, very strange, very trippy, very odd. Yeah, see, the stairs go up into nothing. Kind of cool though. So now we're getting into like not necessarily impossible architecture, but can we say implausible architecture? Like, why would you build a house like this? Oh, that's right. Because it's a secret door. I'm very silly. I forgot about that. Uh, let's get ready just in case. I think I can get this lady. So once again, I'm not entirely sure if all of these patients are human or vampire. Some of them are clearly vampire because they can do aggravated damage with their bare hands. Which is a very vampire thing. No! Can I get you? I can. I don't know who has all these vintage gas masks laying around to give to people, but whatever. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview. A few simple questions of the plague ridden woman. Of course, there was no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, viewing wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor for them all, but a modicum of cooperation could be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about. 
So he's been siring these little crappy vampires. And because of his Malkavian blood, they all go insane, and then he studies them. Isn't that nice? It looks like a real photo again. Or audio logs. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mild and foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty. Another thing I think they may have gotten not quite right is scale. Like, these ceilings seem a little too high to me. I don't know. Uh, what I will say, because I have been a little bit negative lately, and I still do really love this game, is that this game does not insult your intelligence. When they want you to figure something out, they give you the clues. Look at the skybox. You can see where it looks like a, a, a text or a JPEG back there. And then this is the edge of the level, the edge of the map. <laughs> once, you, once you look straight up, that's pretty nice. The fog effect for clouds, that's pretty nice. Anyway, this game doesn't insult your intelligence. They let you figure things out for yourself. You could have, especially with Malkavian, you could have figured out uh, the Tourette thing beforehand. The evidence is all there. You, you know about things, you know about the world, you learn about the world, and uh, you use that to make assumptions and theories. Hmm. This looks like an identical room, doesn't it? Did I actually go back the same one? My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my yeah. wife's illness advances. My subjects yeah, I think I went the wrong way. proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Got far enough away so the audio log stopped. Yeah, I just totally pulled the 180 while I was talking there. Bikaye. I should have various cowboy themed one liners to say when I slip people in this sequence. Hmm, here we go. There's another big combat room. That's where it could be if you're not careful. Guy walking around. No, 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 no. Because this is brightly lit, it's much harder to sneak. You can see my light meter is going kind of nuts in here. Yeah, you just caught a glimpse, so you're going to stare at that spot for a while? That's fine. That's great, actually. Uh, they usually only give you one of these guys per room because aggravated damage and all of the female subjects have just the knives. Gotcha. Actually, it went pretty well. Here's a guy with no legs. I think this is the model that Pisha was supposed to be eating when I met her, but it didn't load in properly or something, or just despawned or something. This goes back to this big combat room. These are the two doors that went in there that were locked. I kept trying because I remember being able to go this way. Once again, I didn't practice this segment, so I'm doing it kind of free balling. <laughs> it's 
terrible. Uh, I don't even like that term. Oh, this is a cool room. Let's get ready for this. Shh, London's calling. It's time to hit the happy trails. <laughs> These are awful. These are awful. I love them. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, or rather high office by the sound of things, which I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. So, as you can see, these are set up to look like mirrors, but they're actually windows. I unfortunately killed these two subjects before the effect was suitably shown off, but... Uh, this is the room I was thinking of when I, I was like, oh, this is a mirror image. Oh, damn you. Ah, oh, damn. The hit, the hit stun decay is nuts. Oh. This jumping attack is actually good for breaking blocks. Oh. Ah, phew. Hard fight. Due to my own mistakes. I should have let that guy go by before I tried to get both of them. Of the other ones. Oh wow, I'm really beat up now. Let's not do any more of those, huh? So that audio log was saying that Grout didn't even have contact with other vampires until all of a sudden he was offered a spot as the primogen of the Malkavians in this city. And he did talk before about his sire being in a uh, asylum. That's the ladder I went up earlier. Here's this kind of puzzle again. I don't mind a puzzle, it lets me have some time to heal up. Chaos, like mind, can only be understood through scientific process order, is only good as perception. Time is the key that links the two. And there's, okay. Uh. The time one is going to alternate. This is chaos. Nice little uh, Warhammer chaos symbol there. I don't think that's intentional. Actually, let's listen to this while I do this puzzle. I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Nalkavian, the dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer. So named for some supposed vampire father figure of old. Or poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably long to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter. For I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that 
Even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, oh, indeed. As they courted me for disappointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil, if you will, to have such honey-tongued tempers. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their silent song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. Okay, this is, like, actually difficult. Uh Like, as I thought, key moves them between each other. But this only gets it partially lit. And these are fully lit, and this one's partial. If I pull this, it's going to put these two out, and this one's going to go to full brightness. Oh, maybe not. Well, it would if I had pulled that one first. <sighs> puzzles, 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 puzzles. Now I do this. No. I do this. Oh, that turned off. <laughs> Damn it. Chaos. Uh, this will turn, this will work, right? No, it did nothing. It turned this one on full. Oh, damn. That's everything off now, it's useless. I do this one. Oh, damn. Half lit, full lit, off. Full lit, full lit, half lit. Oh. Jeez. I, I think I did that by accident. I actually don't know how I solved that one. That was that last one was at random. I was like, okay, I guess I'll start over, and then that was actually the solution, so I don't actually know what I'm doing here. Where is that door that opened? Oh, it's downstairs, of course. Why would it not be downstairs? Oh Half-Life flatters, not great. Well, source ladders. I'm not detecting anyone, but you never know. Oh, these are instant kills, I believe. So let's do a nice little save. Save on this one because that's a, like a ruined save now. Okay. Okay. More puzzles, more puzzles. Tarul Fang. That's, that would be a decent item for anyone not me that never likes to feed frenzy ever. These really look half lifey. Okay, now I've got literally everything turned off except the ones I need. Great. Mm. 
Alright, I'm just gonna go and turn off all of these. Close. Close. Closed. Closed. Really? Nothing? They're all off. Maybe if they're all on. Yep, there we go. Open up this door. I don't think it's a shortcut. I think that's the way forward. In fact, to the basement. Aha! 8 XP. Persuasion. Do I want persuasion though? Hmm. Uh, if I get any more XP, I may need intelligence to uh, to get the research skill up, the research feat up, so I can read some more books. But I've only got this one book, and I don't need. need necessarily know what it does or what it requires. Uh, this room again. I think this is all cleared out. There's this one, the far door, I believe. 